Hey everyone, welcome to chapter number five. All right, so today we're gonna to talk to you about ratios. Ratios is a fancy math word. It means something pretty easy. Um, basically, when I was growing up, I was told that ratios were easy to remember because if you just add a few more letters, it tells you exactly what they are. They're basically fractions. All right, so with that knowledge, let's take a look at what a ratio is. So ratios are numbers that compare two amounts. So for example, if you take a quiz and you get four problems right out of five, we have a comparison. The number of problems you got right versus the total number of problems. That's how you get your grade. You may have seen uh, people put this on your test before. This means you got four right out of five. You could have seen it in fraction form, four out of five. They could have written it out, four out of five right. Or you got four to every five problems you did. And those are the four different ways that we can write a ratio. The key thing is, is that a ratio is basically just a fraction. The difference will be that the top number means something and the bottom number means something. You have to know what those are. And we have to make sure that every ratio, um, that we write each ratio, when you write in fraction form, it has to be in simplest form. So if I tell you five, eight, or five to eight, that can be written as the fraction five eighths, and that is already simplified. However, if I tell you that you got six out of nine, you could write that in fraction form that would have to be simplified down to two thirds. Get it? All right. So let's write the ratio as a fraction in simplest form. Six out of 36 students got an A on their test. Well, that means that I got six over 36, and of course I have to simplify it by dividing by six and dividing by six, and I get one out of every six students got an A. There are 14 girls compared to 18 boys in a classroom. That would mean that we have 14 to 18, divide by two and divide by two, and we have a ratio of seven girls to every nine boys. Let you guys do this one. All right, here we go. Get it? And lastly. Okay, I'm back. Four over one. The important thing I want you to remember here is that we always leave ratios as improper fractions. Um, we would not write this as four because if you only write it as four, once again, the top number means something, the bottom number means something. Four students to every one computer. If you just write me four, it says four students but it doesn't compare the other parts, so we always leave it in fraction form. Okay, the other word we have is what's known as a rate. A rate is a ratio of two quantities with different units. So if I drove 60 miles in two hours, notice I have two different units. I have miles and I have hours. If I write this as a unit, I went 60 miles in two hours. Now a unit rate is a rate where the denominator is always one. So in this situation, if I drove 60 miles in two hours, I have my ratio right up here, my rate, but to get a unit rate, I need to divide the top by two and the bottom by two because when I do, I end up getting 30 miles over one hour and that is known as a unit rate because the denominator is one. So if I want you to find the unit rate here, Got nine sodas for every three pizzas. I have nine sodas for every three pizzas. I simplify, and that basically means that I have three sodas for every one pizza. 20 students compared to five computers. Remember this problem? We had 20 compute students to every five computers. We simplified it, and once again, that means there are four students for every one computer. The top number means something. The bottom number means something. All right, so in addition to being able to handle word problems, we also want you to be able to check out tables. So in this one, it is the cost for amount of square feet of artificial turf. Notice this is a ratio table, and I know that these are all proportional because if I multiply 25 times four, I get 100. If I multiply 100 times four, I get 400. Once again, same idea. And you notice that there's a pattern in how the chart went up. That helps us be able to find our unit rate because now I can find my cost for the amount of astroturf I get. Since I like small numbers, I'll go with the smallest numbers I've got in my chart, which is $100 for every 25 square feet of astroturf. If I simplify, divide by 25, divide by 25, I can find out that it costs me $4 for every one square foot of astroturf. 
or as you probably say it uh, a little more quickly, it's $4 per square foot. All right, here's another part, chart. This is the time and the distance traveled by the space station. And I'm going to give you a clue. I want it in miles per second. All right, I'm back. Let's see. I pick the smallest numbers. I divide by 3 and divide by 3 because I need my 1 to be in my denominator for my unit right. And I am getting 4.8 miles every one second. That's moving. I also want you to be able to tell me the unit rate based on a graph. So if this shows the speed of a subway car, find the speed in miles per minute. Well, if I want to do that, all I have to do is miles per minute. Now, if I notice, this is one mile in two minutes. So if I go one mile in two minutes, and again, the unit rate is the denominator has to equal one, I divide by two and divide by two. That gets me a half a mile every one minute. And the subway's car is going a half a mile per minute. What if I pick the other point? Well, that would have worked too, because I went three miles in six minutes. And if I divide by six and divide by six, once again, I get one half mile every one minute. All right, I have one for you to try. I'm only giving you one point to choose from, and I made it fractions. You can do it. Please tell me the unit rate of this subway car in miles per minute. OK, I'm back. Did you? Plug in one quarter mile in one half of a minute? I hope so. Anyway, um, if I have times by two and times by two, because I need to get my denominator equal one and one half times two will be one, I end up getting one half mile per minute. I hope you got that because it was the same subway car. Anyway, um, this is it. I hope you guys. Uh, understand the difference between ratios, rates, and unit rates. If you've got any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thanks.